Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I wanted to show you how to delete remote Git branches. You know, those ones that might be floating around over on GitLab or GitHub, and do it from the command line and clean up your remote tracking branches as well. Look, there are a number of ways to delete branches over on GitHub. Probably the easiest way is to go in, say, view all branches, and then look at one of these trash cans here, which will allow you to delete any of the branches here, so long as there's no branch protection rules that have been applied. Um, I think when people are looking at some of my tutorials, they kind of want to see how you can actually delete a branch just from the command line. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, git branch a will tell me all the different branches that I've got locally. And you can see that I've got this old branch here. And let's say I want to delete that old branch. There it is. How would I do that? Well, the command to do that is this. It is simply git push origin dash dash delete and then the branch name which is old branch. Click enter. Dum -da -da -dum. All of a sudden the old branch is deleted. And if I come over here, well look it's still there. Well let me do a refresh and we'll see exactly what happens as it goes to a 404 page because that page doesn't exist and now we've only got name, main and new branch available there. So that's how you delete it. But watch this. Git branch dash a. Whoa what is this? We've still got that old branch there. That is no good, so uh, maybe we'll want to delete that old branch locally. So to do that, we just simply type in git branch dash d, and then the name of the branch. So we can say old branch here. Now that's actually going to delete the old branch locally, so git branch dash a. Okay, and so that old branch is now gone as a local branch. We've actually got the remote origin branch, uh, the tracking branch, deleted as well. I thought that maybe we would have to do an extra step to delete that tracking branch. Uh, it looks like when we uh, did the delete for the remote server, it actually deleted it here as well. But I do want to show you that uh, fetch command. Um, or the prune command on git fetch. Uh, look at this here. I've got a remote tracking branch to new branch and I've got that new branch in existence in my local repository as well. Let's see what would happen if I came over here and actually deleted the new branch from the server. I do uh, git delete there. I go back to my list of branches. I've only got the main branch. The new branch is gone. What do I do with git branch dash a over here? Well, I've still got that remote reference to the new branch. If I do a git fetch, look, I've still got that new branch. Uh, you would have thought that maybe a fetch would have got rid of it. If you actually want to synchronize your local remote tracking branches with the branches that have been deleted on the server, here's the command that you do. You go git fetch origin dash dash prune I always enjoy a good prune in the morning. Uh, you do that. Now that's going to synchronize with whatever was deleted on the server. If I do git branch a again, notice that the remote reference to the new branch is gone and my local environment is now in sync with the server. I could optionally delete that new branch as well that is just the local branch. That would just be git branch a d new branch get branch dash d new branch force d <laughs> there we go a big d will cause a force and then all of a sudden that branch is now gone so get branch dash a and we see we no longer have the new branch or the old branch. And there you go. That's how you go about deleting branches from that remote repository. And there you go. That's how easy it is to delete remote Git branches from GitHub. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git and GitHub and DevOps tools and enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.